when when you took part in those first tag team ladder matches did you have veterans telling you after that you were doing too much or did they give you praise because now you see so many people on social media veterans like oh everyone needs to slow it down needs to do less but you know when you watch some of those matches you you don't even have a second to to catch your breath because there's always so much happening in it yeah to, to me it, it's uh like tlc matches are are, are the x games of of pro wrestling in my opinion and and that's man back that's what was so great about our creative freedom within those matches and then uh you know some of the things like my thoughts being too big for my size you know like really not doable um but yeah all those things just putting that stuff together we were like young and hungry uh but we knew we were going to go out there especially that the first tag team ladder match with edge and christian man that was that that really turned the page for us as far as like becoming who we are, you know, as, as wrestlers and, and getting to do what we used to do in the backyard on these ladders in front of like 20,000 people. Um, but yeah, just, uh, we, we knew we were going to go out there. We're going to steal this show. But that's what was so cool about that time too. Cause you know, you had the main eventers and we were like the young hip, you know, alternative, uh, X games, uh, type of uh, personas, uh, with, with the ladder matches and, and stuff. And now I mean, there's a whole pay-per-view like that was kind of created for that. So it's, super cool like what we've been able to do is it is it uh when, when you finished the first one the first tlc match um did it feel like you had done something special like did you know like oh man we just did something that that is gonna stand the test of time yeah for sure i think that might have been the first uh time coming back through the gorilla where there's like a standing you know everybody was applauding like wow what, what, what did we just see <clears throat> um so, so yeah and even that one memory that comes to mind like in that tag team ladder match the seesaw spot was from my brain i was like yeah we could do that man i think it'd be unsafe but just the reaction when my butt landed on that ladder and matt and uh, jay got hit with the ladders i was mad like, so this this happened this was only in my head and it actually is, is a real thing that's kind of like immortal um so yeah just all those uh you know the, the standing ovations man it was just incredible after those matches. what's the scariest dive that you ever did where when you got to the top of the ladder or top of the platform that you were like oh man why did i have this idea uh the the, uh, the highest swanton to date is 33 feet uh the one to randy orton it was like when raw was going to change the set so they wanted to do something big um but that was a scary one man but that was it was full commitment i was kind of afraid i wasn't going to be graceful in my swanton but uh as one of those moments, it just it was up there and all those people, I, you know, I fuel off of their uh, adrenaline and the energy they, they give me moments like that. But I just completely committed to the gracefulness of it. And uh, but, yeah, that was uh, I was very scared. But the, the fear is part of the fun in situations like that. It's just cool to conquer something you, you're afraid of. Um, and that was a primetime example of that. Download the all new Fox Sports app now.